Hey everyone and welcome to this new video. My name is Tom and we are going to build a full stack application with Superbase and React. For that we will be creating a movie Tinder application. So we will be fetching data from a movie API. We are going to use the magic link authentication from Superbase and we will be storing data in a database from also Superbase. This is the first video of a series so make sure to hit the subscribe button so you will be informed for the next video. In this first video, we are going to create the authentication logic. For that, we are going to use the magic link sign in form from Superbase, as well as we are going to create protected routes with React Router DOM. Okay, so let's start by creating our React application. For that, I'm going to use yarn, type create React app, and I'm going to name this application. So let me skip that installation part for you and let's jump right into our project. Okay, so the first thing that we want to add is the React router so we can navigate through our application. Uh, for that, let's open up the terminal and install the React router DOM package. And inside of index.js, let's yeah, let's remove this stuff that we won't be needing here, and then we can import browser router routes and route from React Router DOM. Yeah, let's remove this. So we need to wrap the whole application in our browser router, just like that. As well as in the route as in the routes and now we yeah need to to add the pages so let's create them now create a directory called pages home file as well as a sign in component Here we can, yeah, just create some functional components and let's just say, let's give it a title, sign in, and here let's call it name, uh, home, and let's display just a welcome. So back in our index.js, let's import the home component as well as the sign-in component and here then inside of our routes uh yeah wrapper uh to yeah to set the routes and here we'll be passing as an element the whole home component for our home page Down here the signed in component. Now we need to set the path. So this will be our index. The sign in page will get a path which will be signed in. Okay, so let's start our development server and yeah, let's see if this is working. Okay, we see our welcome screen. And if we type in here, sign in, we do get our sign in page. So the routes are working now. We can navigate through our application. So let's now add, well, before we, we start adding the, the authentication or the sign in logic, let's add a layout component so we can add a, like a navigation for easier handling so let's create a new components directory and inside of it let's create a layout js file okay and simply create a functional component called layout which will receive the children prop and it will be returned here, maybe inside of a main tag. And let's add a header, which 
yeah, will contain the navigation. So for the links, we need to use the link component from uh, React Router DOM. So this needs to be imported here at the top. This one says home and will be redirecting to our index uh, page. And here we can say sign in. And now we need to add the layout component here in our pages. So import this as well from components from the components directory, as well as in the sign in page. Okay, save that, open up your browser, and yeah, we see a navigation which navigates through the pages. Okay, so the next step will be to implement the Superbase authentication or yeah, the sign in functionality. So for that, let's create a Superbase project. Go to superbase.com and click on start your project at the top right corner. Here you need to log in with your GitHub credentials and you will be redirected to your dashboard where you can see your existing applications. Um, yeah, so let's create a new one. Let's give it a name, movie app. You need to set a strong password for your database. Like that. And then you can choose a region as well, but let me keep the, this now. Click on create new project. And this will set up your application. This uh, in general takes a few minutes, but what we do get and what we do need in our React application for now is uh, this endpoint as well as an up API key, which we also get here. It's the NN key. Okay, so, so good for now. Now let's go back to our React application and install the Superbase client. So for that, um, open up the terminal and yeah, call the yarn add, add Superbase slash Superbase slash JS. This will install the Superbase client. Yeah, I had a typo, so it's yarn add superbase slash superbase JS. Okay, <clears throat> so let me close that. Uh, now we need to create our client. For that, create a new file inside of your source directory and let's import the create client method from superbase and here we will be needing the api key as well as the endpoint so for that let's create an env file which will store our keys and let's create two variables called react app superbase key as well as react app superbase draw let's copy that from from our dashboard paste it here and now back in our superbase client mm, say superbase key Will be process.env prolog react superbase key and the URL it's process.env.react superbase 
zero elf. And now we can create our const, which will be exported, called superbase. And this is what we get from the create, create client method. And here we need to pass the URL and the superbase key. Okay. So this client will handle all our superbase um, logic. So let's import it here inside of our sign in page. Just like that. Okay, the next step is to create a form which will yeah retrieve the user's email. So let's create that. Here we only need a input of type email. Value will be yeah, let's create a state for that and let's import the use state hook. So we can say const email is yeah initially an empty string. Then in our input field we can set value to email. And on change we will be changing the email's value. So here we say event set email to event.target.value. All right, and let's add a yeah, submit button, which says sign in, or let us say login, or let's say sign in. So this needs to be of type submit. And then we can create our handle sign in function. which needs to be a sync which retrieves the event and then we can say here event prevent default so the page won't reload and inside of here we can call the sign in function which then will send the user the yeah the login magic link so here we can say const. So yeah, we will check if we do get an error. All right, so let's say await call superbase.auth.sign in. And here we need to pass the email. And then we can check if we do get an error back. Let's console log that for now. And otherwise, we assume that everything works fine and we can yeah let's create uh, a message so create a new state called message set it initially to an empty string and so if this works fine we say magic link has been sent and and of course we display the message here if we have a message and we need to add the on submit event here and call the handle sign in function um yeah the env file what, what i see now is we have to uh, put inside of our root directory and not inside of the source okay so um now let's restart our dev server so we can yeah, so we can bring our env variables to work. <clears throat> All right, this opens up a new tab. Let's open up the dev tools to check for any errors. Now when we move to sign in and let's type our email or my email, hi at domthedev.com, click on sign in and we see the message appears magic link has been sent and we see we do get a confirm your sign up email so now when i click on that mail i will be redirected to the home screen 
uh, let me check that so i click on the link and if we check now our local storage in here we see that we do get logged in and a yeah a session is saved in our local storage so the next step will be to create um yeah the whole authentication flow like protected routes so let's go back into our app <clears throat> and for that um yeah let's close this stuff for now um so now i want to create an off provider so which is using the context as well as a custom hook so let's go and create a new file and let's name it auth.js okay and here and here let's yeah let's import our super base client first and as well as some yeah methods we will be using from react like the use state uh, use effect we are going to need the use context as well as create context so i guess this is this is it so let's start by creating our of context by calling create context function and next will be our of provider which we will be exporting say of provider which gets children passed okay and so here we are going to call our custom hook which we will uh, implement in a second let's say const alf is use provide alf okay whatever we get from here returned and then we simply return the alf context provider value will be whatever we get inside of out okay and here inside we return the children so this is our out provider and um yeah what we else need is uh the use out hook which we'll be creating here so this simply returns uh, the use context with our of context and now we can create our use provide of so let's say function use provide of and yeah so here we are going to return uh, the user uh, object so if we if we are logged in we return the user object so this will be our whole yeah authentication logic so for that let's create a new state called user let's set it initially to now then we are going to have our login function which i will add in a second as well as the logout function okay but what we first want to implement is the use effect hook so here inside we want to check if we do have a session so every time our page loads we check if we have a session so for that say const user is superbase dot off dot user okay and if we have a user here we say set user user and what we need here is a dependency array okay and at the end let's just return 
we are going to return our user as well as our login and out function. Okay. Mm, let's also uh, add here in on auth change handler or listener. Let's say const auth is super ba super base dot auth dot on of change on auth state change which gets an event and a session here we say if event is signed in we set user to session dot user and if the event is signed out we set user to null so here for the for the return let's call auth dot unsubscribe okay so we now have a on change event for for our authentication and when we log in we set the user to whatever we get in session user and otherwise if we sign out we set user to null and yeah we will be logged out so let's add the login and logout function for the logout for the login we can simply copy that from from our sign in page so let me copy that Let's make this async. So we can't set here a message. And here for logout, let's say. And here in and here in login we can say const error wait super base of sign out and as well this function needs to be async and if we don't get an error we say set user to now and yeah if we do get an error log it okay and now we have our yeah use of provider hook stuff set up so now we need to yeah wrap our application inside of this our provider so let's import it here and wrap wrap our app inside of it okay so what i see here now is that we do get an error so email is not defined which is right because we need to edit here okay now this function needs to be called here inside of sign in so yeah we won't be needing this here anymore well as the super base client but what we do need is the use of hook let's call it here say const elf is use of and now here we can simply say of dot login as email so what we are missing now is the message so let me adjust that in here. Let's I mean, let's just say, I don't know, maybe say let's return the error and the user as well. Mm -mm -mm. 
then inside of sign in we can say let's say const sign in is what we get from here okay it's async so we say await and now we can check like if sign in dot error set message to to sign in dot error dot message so we do also get here in message so we can yeah set the message to that or else set message to login link has been sent and if this is done we can say set email an empty string okay so now our app is uh, wrapped in the auth provider and yeah let's create our protected route so here inside of components let's create a new component called protected route here we need to import our use of hook and we will be needing the navigate component from our react router dom then we can say const protected route which is retrieving the children object and here inside we call our use our hook and then we are returning if we do have a user and to return the children and otherwise we navigate to the sign up page of sign sign in page and then export default protected route okay now we have our prote protected route component so let's add a protected page for that let me create the yeah, profile page here inside of the headline we can say protected page so now we need to edit inside of our index.js so import protected route component as well as our profile page down here we say okay route path will be profile and as inside of the element we yeah we we return the protected route which is wrapping our profile okay so it looks like this now yeah let's save this and check check our app so yeah, we need to add it well to our navigation so let's say profile and as we are currently logged in we should see the protected page let's add here our layout as well okay and yeah we see our protected page now when we log out so let me just kill that you see we will be redirected to the sign up sign in page okay and if i click on profile i will be instantly redirected to the sign in page okay and so we have our protected routes what i want to add now or what 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 we are missing is the log out button so let's add that here simply and maybe down here so it doesn't be, have to be a link but a button which says log out and on click um, 
let's yeah let's just call the log logout function but for that we need to once again import the use alpha hook call it here just like that now we also can say okay Do we have a user? Then say log out and otherwise say sign in. Now we can call the alpha log, log out function here. Okay, so let's uh, play the cold game again. So go to sign in, type in your email and sign in we get the confirmation message that our link has been sent now i get the email and when i click on the link yeah i'm here on our index page and here in the navigation you already see that we see the logout button we can visit the protected page and if we click on logout we will be logged out and we're redirected to the sign in page okay so this was the first video of the series in the next video we are going to fetch data from the movie api and then we are going to create watch lists so we are going to save data in the postgresql database so i hope you enjoyed the video please hit the subscribe button and hope to see you in the next video bye bye